So Meghan and Harry will apparently travel to Nigeria in the next coming few days to attend some sort of activities that will involve servicemen, ex-servicemen, wounded soldiers taking part. And we are told as well that Meghan and Harry are being invited by the Nigerian chief of staff. We don't know yet in what capacity Meghan and Harry are being invited to attend this event, but we suspect that maybe it has something to do with Invictus Games because anywhere that, you know, will involve wounded soldiers, you know, ex-servicemen doing some sort of activity, Prince Harry will always go there with his cameras because this is good for the Invictus Games. It is good for Prince Harry's, you know, publicity and all of that sort of thing. But I would like to highlight a certain story I stumbled upon online in which the author of that story claimed that uh, this is Meghan and Harry's unofficial royal visit. And I thought that was very wrong on many levels because Meghan and Harry are no longer working royals. So there isn't a question of whether it's unofficial or official. They will simply never step out again in the name of representing the royal family, whether official or unofficial. So I would like to know what you thought about that story, if you came across that story as well. But uh, it's very interesting because they are going to Nigeria and um, I don't know of what relevancy Meghan and Harry are going to be in Nigeria and um, how they were invited by the Nigerian chief of staff. I don't know whether Nigeria wants Prince Harry to set up um, Invictus Games in Nigeria. It is one of those visits that are quite random. I mean, I think there is a mission behind Meghan and Harry going to attend this visit. And um, of course, it has to have something to do with their Invictus Games. And it is good for the cameras. It is good for Meghan and Harry's brand. Nigeria is, of course, a huge nation in Africa. It has one of the uh, largest armies in Africa, in West Africa. So it is going to be good for Prince Harry, it is going to be huge for Invictus Games. Uh, because let's face it, if this was in another unknown small country, would Meghan and Harry have honored this invitation? I doubt. So mm, there is a win-win somewhere. Uh, with regards to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle attending this event. But also remember, Meghan claimed she was 42, 43% Nigerian some time back. So again, I think <laughs> this is one of those <laughs> visits where, you know, Meghan Markle wants to go there and give a speech and talk about all of this uh, sort of percentage of her, you know, being Nigerian, this percentage, because it looks good for, you know, Meghan, Prince Harry, their publicity. It brings them back into the limelight. And we know that um, Prince Harry will be here in the UK. Is it next week, Wednesday, to attend that service at St. Paul's Cathedral uh, in celebration of the 10 years of uh, anniversary for the Invictus Games. So jetting to Nigeria straight after um, attending this service is going to look good for the Invictus Games. It is going to show as if, yes, you know, big things are happening. Event after event, Invictus Games is going mountains. But I don't think um, 
Meghan and Harry would have been that extremely relevant going to Nigeria to attend that event. If at all, you know, it isn't having something to do with uh, Meghan Prince Harry's publicity and, you know, wanting to show the world that they are making a contribution in the communities across the globe. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments section below. 